Hey guys, welcome back to Snackcast. Welcome back. So today we're going to start a new series. We're kind of excited about it. Um, Kevin is a big fan of local road races and uh you know what's a road race right 5k 10k half marathon um he's a big fan i am too but not quite like he and his wife i think they tend to do them a lot more than than i do a couple but um you know so tell me what 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 do you like about the local road race showing up at the starting line i'm a big fan of community for starters right um you know, a lot of the uh, quote unquote road races, 5Ks, 10Ks, halves, they're done by local nonprofits. They're done yeah. by or local businesses supporting like the local shoe shop. You get a lot of that, right? The local shoe store partnered with the local charity. Yeah. And it's it becomes more communal around getting people to, to get out and get moving. So that's 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 a big aspect of it. Um, I like that it's a goal that you're setting. A lot of people mm. set that up for like three, four months down the road. I'm going to do this 5K, and and, and that day's coming. You're and locked in. You you're locked lose in. the cash you've, or you do it. Right. You, you've paid for that, and you are going to do it. And uh, barring an injury or an illness, you're, you're going to, you know, I'm sure, I don't know what the numbers are, but they're not as high as everybody might think about the people who don't show up. I would probably handicap it at 10 to 15% of the people that yeah. – that pay for a road event actually show up at it so it's it's a committal thing um um it's motivational right i, agree. I mean i mean you know you were just mentioning it like have you ever been to a finish line right right like so so early in the company's history we we were doing some finish line photography long story i'm not going to get into it but i would spend a whole day at a finish line and yeah the first the first 20 people right they're all super skinny super fast world pew, class pew, pew, right when you're like class, ah, right. whatever but when you see the families come through holding hands together you see i mean literally tears and um jumping and it's very motivational yeah no doubt yeah and you, you see the person that you know trained extremely hard to do yeah. it and then the people who have what are quote prs you know their personal record personal and, and best that entertainment is free no one right. charges you to come out and sit at a finish line and you'll leave there like you know wanting to thump your chest and go do one and i would tell you that a hundred percent i was gonna say 90 but a hundred percent of the non-profits that are out there that put on these events need volunteers so if you are unsure of whether this is for you or not Go volunteer at one. Yeah, that's a great shout. I mean, you know, you're, you know, just handing out water on the course, you're going to see the person who is just giving it their all. Yeah. You know, and it's pretty cool. It it is cool. It's a a human spirit episode, if you would. Like, all right, how do we, how do I help this person, you know, finish? Yeah. When you're volunteering. And like you said, it's, 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 it's local. I think um, I think a lot of people get caught up in the, I'm not a runner. Um, I don't look like a runner. I don't want to show up. A ton of people of walk that. these events and or, you know, especially half marathons or run walk. Yeah. You know, you're, you have a lot of 5Ks that are that are that are walking and type events. Every demographic, every body shape, every age group is out at these events absolutely they're they're and you know the the gun i love it the gun goes off and we're not going to get into too much race day prep but the gun goes off and you see the the 20 30 people that are out in front and fighting full, fighting full for the <laughs> even people that you know that you're gonna pass five minutes down the road right they're out like a bullet <laughs> but that that game day energy if you would is huge so cool it is it is so cool even the 10 15 20 minutes leading up to the gun are pretty cool everybody's around everybody's nice everybody's having fun stretching chatting yeah it's 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 great i mean it's great like all right we're all in this together (laughs) all right so so what all are we going to get into we're going to talk about how to train for one yep um, you, you know, maybe pre-race prep because there's things you want to do days leading up to it. Yes. Um, yeah. Whether it's related to diet or pack a pickup or 
whatever uh, tapering i mean there's like you don't you know you don't go to if you're doing a 5k tomorrow you don't go do a 5k the day before i mean it's sure so right. there's stuff we'll talk about with tapering right. and that type and of and even well. race day prep like what to do the day of the race to set yourself up for success and <laughs> yeah, don't go there we'll get into it yep, later yep yep um, there's a ton of that stuff so um so yeah guys this will be kind of cool um kevin's got a good bit of experience i've got a little bit i think the longest race i've ever done was a half and he said he's never going to do another one <laughs> my feet hurt so bad but, but that's okay that's the glory um, in it right your feet hurt so bad and then like i'm never going to do this again and then like two days later i can what's the next event i can right. sign up for right you know so it is cool we're excited to kind of talk to you about it share some of the stuff we've done and um until tomorrow keep moving see ya Thank you.